All right, this is fifth grade, module five, lesson 21. We're wrapping up this module with an activity where students are kind of putting together all of their understanding of these two-dimensional quadrilateral figures, how they relate to one another. And um, so let's get started on this. So this slide is really for the teachers and parents, if you want to download your the teacher edition, you're welcome to do that. But this is largely for the teachers, which is, so you're gonna, you've got all these cards, right? And, and, um, and actually, this card right here is actually, it's not one card, it's six cards. So you're going to print these, you're going to cut them up into individual, and you're going to cut this off into individual tickets, let's call it. Uh, task cards, individual task cards. And uh, you're going to give each pair of students six of them. So they're not necessarily going to have task one, two, three, four, five, and six. Although that is one way you could do it. You can kind of make your life a little easy and just give each kid a page of six tasks. Um, but to mix it up, you could cut them up into individual tasks and then hand each pair of students six randomly assigned tasks. And uh, so let's get this one out of the way. Let's take a look at this. And, um, and then the pair of students, let's say they were given task four, their job is to draw a rhombus with right angles. And, and then they're supposed to draw it. And then your task, uh, teacher, is to roam around and make sure the drawings are correct. I haven't looked at this closely, so I don't know if any of these tasks have, um, like, wildly different possible answers. For example, here, draw a rhombus with right angles. Well, that's going to be a square. So the answer could be any sized square, but it's got to be a square. Uh, I'm not sure if any of the answers, possible answers, are wildly different other than the size of the figure that the student draws. But So parents and teachers, you're going to have to be careful when you are kind of assessing student understanding and whether they've drawn their figures correctly. Here uh, is the homework assignment for parents and students, really. Um, it's answer the questions by checking the box. And so, the worst case scenario, you got a 50-50 chance every single time. So don't sweat the small stuff if you really don't understand this stuff. Ultimately, your deep understanding of this stuff is not a prerequisite for being successful in sixth grade next year. So um, take it with a grain of salt, treat it like a game, have fun with it. Um, is a square a rectangle? Well, here's a square. Now the idea is, well, what's a rectangle? A rectangle has to have four 90 degree angles, uh, but a square does not have to, ha I mean a rectangle does not have to have all sides equal, but a square does. So is a square a rectangle? The answer is, yep, always every day of the week. Um, is a rectangle a kite? Hmm. So what is a kite? Well, a kite, you'll remember, consecutive sides have to be equal. Now, can a, a rectangle have consecutive sides that are equal? And the answer is yes. In fact, it would look like a square. So is a rectangle a kite? And the answer is sometimes. When that rectangle is a square, then sometimes it is also a kite. So that's the, that's the game, is can you use your logic, and largely you're going to be looking at that second figure, well, you're going to be looking at the definitions of both figures, for example, the rectangle and a parallelogram, and you're going to be comparing these definitions and thinking about whether this guy is always a parallelogram or is this sometimes a parallelogram, etc., it's pretty fun. So oftentimes, they've already given you the directions down here, but drawing your figures uh, is going to help you answer your questions over here. And the last slide for this video, use what you know about quadrilaterals to show each, to answer each question below. Explain when a trapezoid is not a parallelogram. Now you'll remember, you got to remember what is a trapezoid it's at least one pair 
of parallel lines. And I'm just going to put parallels of parallels. One, at least one pair. And that's the tricky thing right there, man. The tricky thing is it's at least one pair. So when is a trapezoid not a parallelogram? Well, this is a trapezoid. This is a parallelogram. But this parallelogram is also a trapezoid because the pair, a trapezoid has at least one pair, and this happens to have two pairs of parallel lines because the way I tried to draw it, I tried to say that those guys are parallel and these guys are parallel. So a trapezoid is not a parallelogram when it only has one set of parallel lines because these guys are not parallel. And that's the idea, is to draw a picture and explain your understanding. That wraps up fifth grade, module five, lesson 21, a fun lesson where students are really challenging their understanding of all the definitions and the properties of all of these various two-dimensional figures.